Also, a touching tribute to Assemblyman Tyrone Thompson today in Carson City. His fellow lawmakers uh, placed flowers there on his desk just days after his sudden death. Many of those lawmakers also donning Thompson's trademark silk corsages during the first day without him at the Capitol. And 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan spent the day talking to community leaders about Thompson's legacy and where others will have to step up to continue his mission. Brian. Yeah, Assemblyman's Thompson's big focus when you really get down to it was children and making sure every child has a chance to succeed. That's what he's been fighting for on the Education Committee and in pushing the importance of mentorship at the state level. I graduate this year May 24th, okay. and once I graduate, I'm going to uh, keep the amount of promise going. Christian Ward is following in the examples set for him by his mentor, Assemblyman Tyrone Thompson, who helped the legacy high school seniors succeed. He helped me turn around. I was one of those kids that were sleeping through the cracks that he invested his time. Friends and colleagues say that was Thompson's mission in life, to look out for the most at-risk children, whether it was helping foster kids through CASA, homeless youth, or even minority students like Ward. I would say that he's probably impacted the lives indirectly and directly of thousands of children. Lisa Morris Hibbler has known Thompson for more than two decades and said when it came to kids, the assemblyman always had one question. Tell me what you need from me. And Thompson still has a variety of bills working their way through the state legislature tied to education, homeless youth, and disproportionate discipline. Those in politics are hopeful those bills will continue. He's left us in a good place um, and um, we'll be able to stay committed to, to his path, his journey, um, and see some of this legislation through, um, you know, in memory of him and in honor of him. When it comes to honoring that legacy, Hibbler says it all comes down to following Thompson's example. Now, I think the greatest thing that we can do is continue to carry on the work that he's done. Well, many are hopeful Thompson's fellow lawmakers will pick up his bills. The area we could see the biggest impact is on that education committee as he will not be there to steer the new funding formula through the final weeks of the session. Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Brian, thank